Well, fridges are though. Like you, like not not that you can just obviously change your shelving and stuff, but you can just get attachments and make it however you want. You can get shelves that have LEDs in them and all that good are stuff. Are you sure what's yeah. bro? Yeah. The color of this already just looks terrible. Yeah, that's, that looks just that looks, that's just this guy. You just that. you just scooped up uh, some pond water. That, yeah, that looks. It gross. literally went to like the Osprey Marsh and <laughs> scooped up a glass. You know what that it looks like? So. You know what that looks like? You know when you like. Um, flush a poop too early, and then the water is like. <laughs> That's the one. That's the look. <laughs> the residual that, water. That, yeah, yeah, that or it probably tastes like it too. After your, uh, what's it called? The when you flush the first time. Your courtesy. Uh, cons- flush. Yeah, courtesy flush. Or I was gonna call it consideration flush. It's like the that same thing. thing. Uh, courtesy it. flush, and then you 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 pee after. That's <laughs> that's what it looks like. <laughs> Let me courtesy flush, oh but you're still but you're still not done flushing. <laughs> yeah. Yo. Did you just wash your hands with your spit? <laughs> when he was finished, he's like, Did you hear the sound? I get it in. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, don't call it a comeback, but we got Matty Aquino back in the house. Yeah, it's been crazy. Hey, I can't back. believe it's been like three weeks. This guy has been actually locked in his room playing Call of Duty, uh, leveling all the guns. It's yeah. actually not bad. Is it? It's not great, but like, uh, is it a courtesy here. drink? But I'll feel so energized and shit after. Yeah, so wait, it went the one week I was in, in, oh, the first week I left for Jamaica. Yep. Second week I was in Jamaica. Yep. And then last week after I got home, I was sick. Yep. Uh, yeah, Brutal. That's, that's fucking, that's How sick. was Jamaica? So, we lost a whole day because of delays. That was No, great. call them out. Call those assholes yeah, out. Yeah, Sunwing. Fuck Sunwing. They suck. Yeah. Never, I'm never traveling Sunwing ever again. That's smart. Um... Didn't so, they have massive problems at the start of COVID? Sorry to cut you off. They always yeah, they, they actually, the day we were there, we were, so we were supposed to leave at 10.45. We didn't fly out until like 6.30 p.m. There, was a, there were people who were going to Cancun who were supposed to leave at 5.45 in the morning and left after us. Oh! And apparently that, so the 5.45 flight was already a combined flight of two airlines. The flight that left was a third flight combined oh, with it. Yeah, God. crazy. So I'd be like, yo, I'd lose my mind. Well, apparently, like, I mean, as much as Sunwing just sucks in general, apparently there was, like, a lot of storms down south of Sunwing. So it was, it was foggy flight. on oh, when foggy. we were leaving, but it wasn't, like, that That wasn't what it was. And then to make things worse, so, like, it's, let's call it, it's, like, 6 o'clock. They told us we can board at 5.45, so everyone's standing in line. Yo, we're waiting for the pilot because no one knows where the pilot is. This guy's getting lit out of bar <laughs> or something. So then he walks up and everyone's like, <laughs> No, they boot him? Yeah. Yo, Yo what if he crashed the plane? This is out of spice. Like, fuck, fuck these guys. <laughs> the wife just left me. I have nothing to live for. Yeah, yeah, so, so outside of that, it was it was great. The beach was was beautiful. The So the only gripes I had with it is one... Like the peddlers in Jamaica, yeah, on the beach relentless. was like, yeah, relentless. Like literally, like three people every hour asking you to buy something. Even God if like, damn. yo, bro, people who we had seen earlier in the day would just like Come say back. hi, but like otherwise it was like always someone different. I was like, bro, like no, we don't want anything. Um, That's so, when you say, can, can I just enjoy my trip? No, like, but it's yeah. that's just how it is, man. I know. You just gotta go. like ignore them. So that that part's kind of shitty, or yeah. was kind of shitty. Mm. Um, and then the resort we were at. Like, you couldn't get really any kind of food after, like, midnight. Really? There was, like, a sports bar, but the selection wasn't the best. Yeah. Yeah. Like, room service or anything? Uh, No. No, not after hours. Yeah. So, but other than that, like, the weather was, couldn't ask for better weather. And the beach and, like, the ocean was beautiful. Like, um, there was a part where Kel was, like, sitting by the, the water with all the kids. And she was just, like, scooping sand in her hand to, like, get shells. Literally, she fucking scoops up. There's a fucking starfish. She's like, oh, and she like screams and freaks out. And mom's like, not with the kids. Not with the kids around. Like, so the, the other ones, yeah, yeah. So she's like, okay, guys. Like, look at the starfish. And I was like, what the fuck? It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Um, but there were like baby nursing sharks like just down where we were. Oh, wow. There was like a part of the beach that went out. And there was like a tree that was like in the water. And there were like two baby nursing sharks that... You could see, you could go every day every day and see them there. That's cool. Yeah, it was really cool. That's real cool. Yeah. That's when I start stop swimming in yeah. the ocean. It's pretty far away from like where we were. Doesn't matter. But it's it's it was like I've never seen them like up close like yeah. that. Just chilling there. So that's how yeah. big were they? Like probably like this big. Yeah. You know what my problem with sharks are? It's not even that they're dangerous or it would wreck me. It's also that they're all so ugly. You know what I mean? People said about you. So, uh, <laughs> At least I can write people. <laughs> At least I can write people. That's a win. Um, but some sharks are just mad ugly. Like I'll see them. Like some of them are bro, hideous, disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> see yeah. the hammerhead? 
I'll just swim right in between them so they can't see me. Yikes. How was the food, though? Like, just... Oh, so good. Yeah? Yeah, it was very, very good. Nice. Yeah, good variety? Because the only qualm I heard before was that it's very repetitive. But Yeah, like, the... So they had, like... Some days they had the oxtail at lunch and dinner, which nice. was great. Yeah, yeah. The jerk chicken was obviously very, like, phenomenal. Imagine they screwed up the jerk chicken. It's like, guys, this is what you're known the, for. No, the buffets were great. Like, the buffets every day had great variety of, like, food at lunch. Like, I, I had a bunch of different kinds of, like, their chicken, which was really good. Um... The other, the, one of the best things at lunch was like their their patties. They had like oh, fresh I beef. What beef or chicken patties? Oh, why would you right? not expect? That? <laughs> I don't know why. That would <laughs> surprise me. Dude, surprise they were like, I would get like three of them. There was one day I actually took some back to my room. Nice, nice. Yeah, especially if they close up shop at like midnight, I would have like twenty ready for me in the locker. Yeah, I'd <laughs> lock them up. The, the one cool thing they had, and I don't remember if, if the rooms we had were like this. I don't think they Wait, were. Mexico? Yeah. So soundproof the, your shits. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, the the alcohol dispen were there alcohol dispensers in the room or just no, alcohol? Just alcohol. Yeah. So these ones had like had the upside down bottles, three different yeah. ones. You just like push your glass you, up and it would fill it up. You had the dispensers, no? No, I didn't. There, there were upgraded rooms that. Do oh, have these them? I think every room had it. Yeah, that's, that's insane. Sick. That's how it should be, man. Come on. And they refilled the bottles every like two days. So you could drink as much of it as you wanted. Yo. That, that was the problem nuts. we had, though, is that we were trying to get lit in our room, and we would have to go to the bar and carry drinks over. Mm, yeah. And by the time we got yeah. to our room, it's all gone. We still yeah. have empty cups. Yeah, so chug the, drinks. the only other gripe I had with it was... But you seem to have they, a lot they, of gripes with it. There's so. like three. Three main ones. The, the other thing was like how stingy they were with the alcohol. The, really? Yeah. Which I'm like, in Mexico, I'm like, yo, I'd have to tell them to stop. Because yeah. I'm like, bro, it's too job, bad. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas here, it was more like... Really? I'd be like, yo, can I get a double? And it'd be like one and a half. I was like, bro, like, I'm just asking Angel. for a double. But they ran out. One night they ran out of rum and gin at two of the bars. So we're like, I was going to say, do you think it's because it's harder for them to get the alcohol? Yeah, m- maybe. A little so, stingier with it? So, and actually, one day they ran out of beer. <laughs> really? Run what? Out of beer. And it was Red Stripe. So I was like, this is your beer. <laughs> yo. Yeah. Um, but it wasn't like, so what we did was we just had beers in a room. We brought them down to the bar and just said, yo, these are only for our group. So can you keep them in the fridge? Like, yeah, sure. Oh, okay. That's yeah. It. So it was cool. But uh, yeah, it was, it was, it, it was like, enjoyed it. It was great to get away. Beautiful beach, beautiful weather. But I wouldn't be upset if I was like, I could never go to Jamaica again. I'd be like, ah, oh, that's okay. Like yeah, I experienced been it once. Done it, yeah. Seen it. Yeah. yeah. So what all okay. includes have you, like what countries? Mexico, Cuba, Jamaica. Okay. How'd you rank them? Um... The guy puts Cuba first. I was uh, the experience behind Cuba was phenomenal, okay. but it's because we had such a good group. Like we went, we went to like it was like six hundred bucks a person. It was Did like you a, do Cuba twice. Yeah. Uh, okay. It was like three and a half stars. We went for new on yeah. New Year's. New Year's morning we flew out, and I was I was eighteen, Sean was nineteen, mm-hmm. or maybe I was nineteen and Sean was twenty, something like that. But we there were five or six other groups of people that were our age. Oh, so it was like, nice. we had like a group every yeah, day. We At night, there was like a group of 20 of us that we'd all just, we wouldn't even, there weren't like a lot of things to do at the resort. So we yeah. would all just like hang out and drink and yeah, yeah. play card games or whatever. So the one issue, that though, one was like phenomenal. Even the food was like, I didn't care. Even when yeah. I went again a couple years ago, mm. um, when we went, the food was like, wasn't like, wasn't what people think of cube, like going really? to, yeah, like, um, I went with Julie at the time and she was very nervous about it but when mm. she was there she's like oh it's, it's great she's like this is not at all what I expected oh that's good so and then Mexico was also it's it the experience is what yeah you know, have to go like I would say Mexico um, the experience obviously because it was it, like the wedding and the group we had mm. but like the from a beach perspective Mexico there wasn't really a beach yeah, yeah. Uh, Mexico is no offense 100%. to Mexico but, it's, no, 100%. but you like, know what it's because the setup they had because of all the um, like if the rocks and it, no but what was that thing that they kept pulling out of the water seaweed it, it was a specific kind of seaweed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, but uh, I they called. were constantly every morning they would do it and it's just smell like shit. So it's like yeah. if they had like, like if if I went to another like because I like the resort the Hard Rock mm-hmm. Resort was very nice yeah, like yeah. the the food was great there like I would maybe try it somewhere else in Mexico where you could go to the beaches if that's the thing like I don't know mm-hmm. but um, yeah so now we're just I think we're doing Dominican in next November so Dominican wants to come nice. we're gonna do a group next November yeah we're gonna I think we're gonna do annually in November ooh actually I don't know I might. Might have a child by that time. Perfect. Oh, uh, with... Leave them out with Steve. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, Steve and I are having a baby. Um, uh, yeah, Steve's wife and I are having a baby. Yeah, what did I... Uh... Welcome to the Macris family. <laughs> yeah. You beat me to it. 
Yep, yeah, me too. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, because the thing about Cuba is, like, Cuba's much more of a party. Yeah, yeah. Like, the resorts there, like, yeah, when I went back in, like, 2013, 24, whatever year it was, like, yeah, it's, like, loaded with, like, young kids partying and shit. Like, it's, it's much more of a party resort. Whereas, yeah, when I went to Mexico and stuff, it's, like, Nice, it's fun, but like, it's there isn't that yeah. like. I think that's Dominican and Cuba for you though. Dominican yeah, and Cuba because they're the Cuba. cheaper options. So everyone exactly. who just exactly. wants unlimited alcohol will go there. Where same thing, like my parents will always be like, not Dominican or Cuba, like their food trash. Yeah. Like yeah. I, I want, I want to have this and this and that, and that's where they go to. Uh, I think they've gone to Mexico most of the time. Yeah. Now. In fact, I think. Wait, are they going to Cuba this year, babe? Do you remember? Dominican. What do Ooh. I know? Eh? Huh. Yeah, I want to go. I think yeah, I know because we've none of us have been to the Dominican, so we want to try. We'll see what it's like there. So that's our next yeah. one. Dominican's good too. I think. I think. I, I don't remember what their beaches were like. To me, and I mean, I've never been to Jamaica, but to me, Cuba had the best beaches. Yeah, Cuba's beaches were Cuba's very beaches good. Are sick. Yeah, they were very. Cuba's beaches good. are like pristine. Yeah. Um, we're bu- we already last night actually we booked our flights for Barbados in June, and just from the pictures I've seen, like whew, the beaches look insane. Yeah, and that's like, but that's insane. also because you guys aren't going to a resort. No, you we're guys actually are like living in. with family. Yeah, I, I think that would be more interesting though mm-hmm. than. Uh, a resort. Well, that's the thing is, I like to see the country a little bit too. Like, even if I go to a resort, it's like spend a day going to town, whatever. Yeah, do an excursion. Or and that's why I love Mexico. Huh. Is like going to town in Mexico. I love it. Going to town in place. Cuba is actually still pretty fun too. Going into town in Cuba, but going to town in places like the Dominican, for example, is like, whoa! I just went to a whole different world. Yes. Like, oh yeah. And like the, the kids are like relentless with like their. Bike. I remember I did a um, like an ATV tour. And, like, we're going through, and it, like, looks cool. We're, like, in a jungle, and then we cut through this, like, a little bit. We go through a town, maybe, like, for 30 seconds. And out of nowhere, there's, like, horde of, like, 40 kids come sprinting between two houses. And they're, like, running up, like, right beside the ATV. But they like, came running like zombies. It was, like, scary. <laughs> and they're, like, clawing at you. They're, like, grabbing at you. And I was, like, yo, I'm going to run you over. Like, fuck off. Back off, man. Like, what the hell? Like, that's, but, like, they're, like, like slap because they're, like, they're just excited to see just you. Just excited to see tourists. And it's like, Lee! Like, <laughs> <laughs> And they're like also like asking for like friggin' pesos and stuff like while they're like running up on you and you're like, yo, I'm I'm driving. That, like, that was the only thing about Cuba was like same thing like I w- we went out of excursion, kid instantly put like a lizard on my head, and like so my friends took photos and then he was like, pay up. I'm like I didn't want the lizard on me and then he I remember because like, <laughs> okay, oh. like don't make me feel bad you piece of crap like you're piece of sh- like they're obviously <laughs> yeah. <gonna get> <laughs> oh, piece, piece, piece of shit of kid. Shit. Piece of shit kid. Cuban kids are pieces. Um, of shit. But you know what? In uh, oh, I was gonna mention something about Mexico. While you're thinking about it, the bus ride though from the resort, from the airport to the resort, literally felt like a fucking roller coaster. It was the most intense bus ride I've ever been on. Really? This guy felt like he was going 80. Yeah. And and like it's like narrow roads, it's like tight yeah. turns. Literally everyone, yeah. like the whole ride was like this. Like, How long was it? it? Like an hour and a half. Oh. <laughs> yeah. like, there were parts like, and like, like everyone's like looking. You can't sleep on that ride. Some people tried, but then there were times where Jacob would be sleeping and then something happened. He'd be like, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> So good. And then Dan was like, you can't say that. You killed them. So then we just laughed about that. Whoa. <laughs> that's true. Yo, that should be a rule. They yeah. shouldn't be allowed to say that. Yeah. Or maybe they should because they got the kill. <laughs> so like, they earned that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Actually. Earned that. It's like bragging rights. <laughs> but, it's interesting. Uh, yeah, it was pretty intense. <laughs> Damn. Like, literally the whole time we're just like bobbleheads. <laughs> yeah. And it felt bad because literally at the airport when we landed, like ghost town because it's like 10 30 and, yeah. and we were supposed to and i asked him like are you guys only here for like this plane they're like yeah they're like you guys are the last ones Damn. and we're like yeah man like we've been at the airport for like 10 hours <laughs> yeah that sucks oh speaking of, okay so i remember what i was talking about mexico do you Sorry, see what is this? it's like lemonade beer my friend brought it it just tastes like beer oh. what would you rate it out of 10 oh well i don't like beer so zero what's out of you did a really good job one to ten it. so ten to zero of one to ten yeah. 12. That's an animal. Uh, one. But okay, so did you see that the, there was a girl who went on to Chichen Itza, the, the yes, pyramid? Yes, yes. And walked up it and it, everyone yeah. was booing her for it? Apparently she was a local. Yeah, she was a citizen. But the way she looked and the way she dressed, I was like... That, that looks like a wild American. It, it truly did. And yeah. that's why I was like so surprised when like, this is a citizen. I'm like, I'm watching the wrong video. Yeah. Not to be, not to be uh, mean or anything, but like, it does not look like a... A citizen, like no, yeah, but yeah, she climbed all the way up, and security. It's so funny because security so jokes because they're like, "Don't climb that." So they'll climb all the way up, and the girls starting to head down, and they'll still meet her halfway. I'm like, "Okay, but now you're climbing it." Yeah, 
Well, yeah, uh, I mean, yeah. obviously, right? They have to, but they probably feel terrible about it. Well, kill themselves or something. Yeah, but like, but why? Why? Maybe there's so many people who will just do stuff like that for the grant. Like, especially nowadays, where why? kids like will like dance in a, in the middle of public and stuff. I'm like, doesn't it like? Like, I can do that only because what, I'm like, you get oh, second hand embarrassment. I do not even second hand embarrassment. I get well, yes, actually, for those people I do, but like I couldn't do it myself no, because of that's just why embarrassment. You're not, you're not ready for the clout, dude. I'm not ready for the clout. <laughs> I could not do that. Even just think about how actors have to like, like, there's an entire cast and crew watching you do your thing. Yeah, but they're part of the, that one. I I get like I see what you're saying, but like they're all part of the business. Like they, everyone knows, and everyone's like, oh my god, like awesome performance, and like they yeah. also see the behind the scenes, so they can see like get the character and then do your shit. And yeah, maybe some people would giggle or something, but like That's yeah, the people who are in public, the one that to me that I think is more cringy is like when you're like taking up people's space like when you're blocking oh, the walkway yeah. in a mall through it I'm like yo like yeah. do you not have any kind yeah. of sense of awareness no this is I don't give a shit bro they're getting paid I see the TikTokers but like, the ones who aren't like, doing it on like Hollywood Boulevard where it's like obviously people are now avoiding you to do it I'm like yeah, get out of the freaking and I wouldn't even get mad if they got shoved over being like get out of the way I'm like, I almost good. thought you were going to say if they got shot <laughs> <laughs> yo I mean it is the state so anything can happen right before we leave the topic of Mexico the one thing Sunwing had such bad delays there were people who were stranded in, at the Mexico airport for two days. Two days. Waiting for their flights. I was like, at the Mexico airport. Which, which, yeah. like Cancun sucks. or like Mexico City? I don't, I'm not sure. Okay. It was just, I know it was with Sunwing. Because honestly, if, it, if it's anything other than Cancun and then whatever's on the West Coast, I, that's scary. I honestly it, thought, so there was a point where I thought there was going to be a video of my mom on social media because she was like going off. going off against like the, the, uh, sales rep like the not the no it was the people not in the plane like yeah where you're going up and do those people not end up going on the plane no not always oh, okay. I, I don't so know so the not only not after this the, so. the only reason I thought it was gonna I was gonna happen was because and the only reason it went on so long was because the person was giving attitude back Oof. and Jacob said and Jacob's like you're in a customer service role you should your job is to de-escalate never to escalate and he's you like and all you're, yeah and he's like all you're doing really? is escalating the scenario yeah it was it was bad like, wow. she, like after she would talk to my mom, she would literally like go sit where she was sitting and like talk loudly enough about my mom that yeah. everyone knew. And it's like, bro, like, what are you like? What are you doing? Like, yeah, what, you what do you think is gonna happen? Yeah. She just lose her job. It's that, it's that simple. Yeah. I, no offense. Like, I think you should give it back to customers when they're being dicks. But like in this point, because like, your getting, customers has a reason to be pissed. Kel was, like getting, Kel was getting like, there's no reason to talk to 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 get upset with her. She, this person, no one here can do anything about this. Yeah. And my I mom's like, sure. and my mom's like, but it's not. It's it's about like how she's talking to me it's like yes. that's that's not how this war is supposed to work yeah that's fair too um so anyway she Damn. she ended up talking to the manager Your mom's a parent like, eh? oh dude it was it, i would literally was like fuck this is gonna be online 100 percent. Yeah, yeah well my mom i've had many interactions where my mom does the same shit she'll give a store clerk stuff like such flack and i'll be like mom like she cannot do it like <laughs> she's just the cashier yeah she doesn't set the prices yeah. <laughs> Like, but she is not Dollarama. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Her last name is. Hey, not Dollarama! Dollarama. Yeah. I'm talking that's, to you. That's that uh, <laughs> that famous guy, right? The Dolly Rama. <laughs> <laughs> he's Yo, so enlightened. That's, that's his brother. Dude, that's the <laughs> chain of dollar stores. Yo, he's so enlightened with discounts, baby. <laughs> that's the slogan. That'd be so good. Is that the no? no oh, that that would be. Say, Yo. <laughs> Get enlightened with discounts. That's so insane. Enlighten, you know, enlighten your bill receipt, your credit, oh, your credit card bill. Oh. Dude, that's great. That is. Oh, you should pitch that. To someone. You should do, do you pitch it to anybody, you. someone on the street. I was almost gonna call him the Dalai Lama. <laughs> you, should, you should pitch to him. Dalai Lama. What's his name? Dalai Lama. <laughs> someone needs to make a Twitter account with his picture, but call it and Dalai get it verified Rama. for eight dollars. Yeah, exactly. Get it verified and shit. Yo, that would be so funny. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's funny. My parents left for Trinidad the same day you did. Their flight was supposed to be at 11 p.m. They didn't end up leaving until like 7 a.m. the next day. Where were they going? To Trinidad. <laughs> did you not oh, listen to sorry. any of the yeah, story? <laughs> sorry, who? Who? Yeah, sorry, who? <laughs> who? When? What? Uh, Your nephew? <laughs> by himself? So they're super late, and then they had to pit stop in Jamaica because the crew was over their hours. Yeah. So oh. they had to land in Jamaica, swap crew. I was like, What? It's like an extra hour from Jamaica <laughs> to Trinidad. Like, you can't work an hour of overtime? Like, what's going on? It's like, not, the, it, they're, like, it's, they're, but, they're not allowed, but yeah. But that's whack. Like, why, I, why even start the flight? Why start the flight if you know you're not going to make it? I, I agree. Like, I, whole t- also, like, I don't give a shit what your hours are. You're working the job. Get me to my destination. Like, yeah. Could you imagine? Hey, we're conducting a landing because uh, 
Carol just has to go. She's she has tired. to call her mom. Just call <laughs> yeah, she, her mom. <laughs> she's sleepy. She hasn't had lunch. <laughs> she's just sitting there like, can I get some apple juice? Fuck you. My time's up. <laughs> I punched out. We're still on the yeah. plane, Karen. <laughs> Whatever you said her name was. I forgot. Actually, I was going to say it again. Carol. 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 Can I say Carol? Because uh, I was thinking of Baskin. <laughs> Carol mm. Baskin? I was like, the founder, I was like, the founder of like, Baskin Robbins? Baskin yeah. Robbins? You know, what about uh, Tiger King is in the MCU? What would you think of that? <laughs> that would actually be sick. I'd, be, I'd watch it. Like, like can he like, summon tigers like from nothing? No. no, he just transforms into one. No, he doesn't even the do one, that. The ones he shot. <laughs> No, he's just like another Hawkeye or uh, Black Widow. Like, no, no powers. Just like a really skilled human. Like, he could just like really like calm tigers down. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's yeah, he's girl. the hard he's counter he's... to White Tiger. The, the, no, the other like Marvel. Hard, <laughs> hard counter. So, is he like the master of seduction, though? Like, where he can make yeah, other he... guys fall in love with him, whether you're hetero or not? <laughs> yeah, 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 That's, that's the power of Tiger for you. Yeah. And everyone's like... You're in Captain yeah. America. It's Captain America's nemesis. And then, and every time he says something like that, there'll be like a tiger sound behind him. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like a power on tiger for you. I, I He'll be here. Oh. Dom say. Yeah. And Dom. Yeah. 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 And then like. Uh, so you know how like, what what are the collective group of of villains in in the MCU? I guess like because X Men have like the Brotherhood of villains. In I the guess. MCU? No, it have to be like sections of the MCU. Yeah, what do you, I'm sorry, what's oh, your question? Yeah, no, like, like, Sinister Six would be one of them from the Spider Man part. Oh, yeah. Is oh, that, yeah. yeah. He's, he's thinking would, of like a collection of Which one is like from... Carol Baskin on? Because obviously she's his villain. Oh, right? yeah, Carol. Uh, she'd be Sinister Six. She'd be a Sinister Yeah, she'd be in the Sinister Six for sure. Because it's all about. They're all animal based, right? Like you have the rhino, you have like uh, a. <laughs> so the other one's like, what, Mysterio, who's not animal based? Oh, he is. He's a mysterious that. animal. <laughs> oh, we just don't know what he is yet. He's a platypus. No, he's a man. <laughs> he's a platypus. Dude, he's an animal. Animal. <laughs> Oh gosh! Um, yeah, Carol Baskin's in there. Wait, who so her they? her superpowers are she gets tigers more aggressive. Oh shit! And it's just a battle of like de-escalate, escalate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just then, like the I was gonna say, just like your mom, <laughs> except it's just escalate and escalate. <laughs> so wait, so it's Rhino, Scorpion, Shocker, fa- fa- Falcon, Vulture, Vulture. Thank Vulture. you. Shocker though is not. I think he's <laughs> that's one, an animal. Though. That's an animal. No, 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 no it's Electro. <laughs> Electro. No, Shocker. He's not part of the Sinister Six. Oh, he's just the Electro is part of the Sinister Six. Oh, okay. Um, who else? Doc Ock. Yeah, I'd assume. Who's Mysterio. Black? Mysterio. That's the six. We didn't say that. Tim the Tatman. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Disrespect. <laughs> yeah. The two time. <laughs> there you go. Nineteen ninety three, nineteen ninety four, blockbuster champion. Yo, a team up between uh, Tiger King and Spider Man though would be pretty sick. And who do they fight? Carol Baskin and well, and Gang. Oh, oh, all of them. Yeah, oh, I was gonna say because I guess Kang, not Kang. Who's the hunter? Craven. Craven the hunter would be. Wait, Craven's from what? Spider Spider Man. Well, yeah, you look at Spider Man. See, this is where like Marvel Snap. I'm like, I'm seeing all these people. I don't know who all of them are here, from. Yeah. But you know what? It's cool though because then you start to want to know who they are. And like, yeah. I never knew this guy was part 100%. of Spider Man. Oh, like, Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. Devil Dinosaur. Oh, Devil Dinosaur. Like, like Black Adam. I mean, he's Shazam's nemesis, no? Yes, but also <laughs> Superman's, I guess. And then Superman's as well. And that's yeah. where I always get confused, because in the Black Adam movie, which I have not watched it, no spo- I'm spoiling right now, apparently Superman shows up at the end credits. Yeah, apparently. Um, uh, like Henry Cavill? Henry Cavill? Yeah, he reprises his role. Like Yo, he's Henry movie. Cavill, he got removed from The Witcher because he, um, he disagreed oh, with the writers. Did we talk about this before I left? No, or no, no, no. no, no we Yo, didn't. Yeah, who, we didn't. who replaced him? Oh, uh, freaking uh, Luke Liam, Hemsworth. Liam. Liam. Oh, Liam Hemsworth. bro, that's terrible. Uh, anybody anybody else is terrible. The well, thing is, Henry Cavill he, just did such a great job. But you know what? Liam Hemsworth, I have to see him do it first to really judge see, it. And, and the thing, too, is apparently a lot of people were were saying that Henry Cavill like doesn't play the Witcher's like, Geralt. Well. I was like, what? He was a great Geralt. Yeah, the only I person thought. who I'd probably take other uh, than Henry Cavill is... Um, what's the guy's name? Uh... He's like a handsome dirtbag kind of look. Um, is it the guy who plays um, Sabretooth? No. Is Didn't the he... guy who plays Punisher? No, but I'd be kind of interested in him too. Uh, Josh Brenthal? Yeah. Or John Brenthal? But you know what though? It's because I just like him. He can be anything he, he wants. He can be anything and I'm down. Yeah. He's a good actor. He could, like be, he could be Catwoman and I'd be down. Yeah, he was a good actor, actor except for Walking Dead, which is where he's. No, he was still good in Walking good. Dead. He was. T- I thought he was good in Walking Dead. Yeah, I thought he was good in Walking Dead too. <laughs> please, please leave. Please. I thought he was good. 
Uh, no, the guy who played the first bad guy in Doctor Strange. Oh, the one. Uh, what's his Which name? One? The, one, the one who can teleport? Hannibal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Han- Hannibal. Guy. I would call him Hannibal. The one who's trying to bring Dormammu. I don't even know his name. I don't know his name either. I don't even know what he looks like without the fucking eye shit. That yeah, that's his eyes. Yeah, that was real. Was just yeah, like Force Whitaker and his brother, the Paul Nomi twin. Um, he also took over Johnny Depp's part in the new Fantastic Beast series. I don't know if that matters. Oh, did he? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I didn't know. I think he could be an interesting girl. He actually might be just because he's so. When, face, when is right? the next one supposed to come out? Next season? We I don't, don't know. Even know. I kind of lost interest. Yo, the boys too, by the way. I, I've i literally started and we finish it in three weeks. Well, Fucking sick. I've heard great things. It, it's good. It, it does slow down quite a bit because you're telling... You can tell they're trying not to use CGI as much. Uh, Wait, because what, what do you mean it slows down? Like, what, what part Dialogue. Like they, they end up trying to put, put in a lot more dialogue and mm-hmm. a lot of it's backstory then a lot of it's just blatant nonsense. Like stuff mm-hmm. where like, who cares? Like Frenchie's whole black backstory... No one cares about his backstory. No, Frenchie's like one of the best characters. He's a good, he's a good character, but then his backstory is like very like, okay, I get it. He was someone who grew up in like this kind of thing, and they just keep repeating it and repeating it. I'm like, I get mm. it. You guys are just spoon like keep doing it to kill off CGI because that's how they save money. Yeah, that's fair. That's um, it was very good though. Season three, I think, was the worst of the three seasons, but it was very. Oh mm. uh, yeah, it's, it's entertaining, but like, most of those things, I like that they show like realistic superheroes, like how they go corrupt. Because how Superman, there's no way he would stay. Good, pure, pure and, yeah. that long, right? Yeah. Unless he had major influence, which obviously Batman and Wonder Woman try to help. But then Wonder Woman, for example. But even still, I feel I feel like he's the one, like keeping Batman in line. Like he's that like good force, whereas Batman's like, because there's like that quote where Batman says like, "Oh, I'd beat Superman because deep down he's a good person, and deep down I'm not." So like uh, he'll go that. Do you think that's true? Him up. What that that Batman deep down not a good. person. Yeah. <laughs> but but that's where you find. Like, do you know like, him? Like, yeah, that's like, what I was Superman saying. was just lucky know. that he was raised by good people who who raised him to be a, a good person. Yeah, yeah. yeah right? Wasn't that what was that movie? What was that movie that I know, like, like, Dark Dark Blood or something? Oh like no, um, was Brightburn. Brightburn. Yeah, Brightburn? yeah. yeah. I've never seen it, but I haven't I've, seen it. But it looks. Oh, that, that, movie, really that movie's good. pretty good. Like, that's basically like, young Superman, but like expect expect like it's like everything everything goes wrong. Exactly like what. Homelander is. I feel like the kid's even more of a menace. Uh, yeah, this kid's like more messed up because he's like that young and doing this brutal stuff. Yeah. But then same thing, like, I guess it's old enough where I can spoil it. Like his his mom even turns on at the very end, where she like, mm. has like a knife and is about to stab, and as soon as she like, does, like he just like fries her head off, like because he can. Yeah. He knows what's happening. I mean, and correct me if I'm wrong, I I haven't watched the boys, but Homelander is not necessarily a bad guy, but he just operates on his own agenda. No, I, I mean uh, you could or say he, he's a bad, he's a bad guy. There's no, he's he's, he's intentionally, he's not he, like he's, a fucking he's literally like Nikki's to the point where she's like, I like hate his face, really, like yeah. and, and it's oh, he like okay. he's the perfect, he does a good job, he plays the role, but he's like literally like doesn't give a fuck because it's like what are they gonna do to yeah. me? So because uh, it's like no, because it's like it's even he, worse than like Superman. It's like he doesn't actually have a weakness. Like I think they. They, you, they you, don't know how to kill... Like, no one knows how to kill him. They, they he's unkillable. His, his weakness is they had... Um, I don't don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. Oh. It's just like, he doesn't have, like, a physical weakness. So it's like, you literally can't kill him. You just have, like, to, does, it defines someone stronger. But does he, like, do bad things? Or yeah. Does he, yeah. Like, oh, like, oh, oh, he... Oh, okay. I'll give you one example without spoiling because it's not really a big plot in the story. But, like, he does a lot of, like, I guess, pro, I'll call pro bono work where they just make him, like, hey, that girl wants to jump. Go, go like, prevent her from jumping and he'll go up. He'll be like, you know what? I'm kind of sick and tired of this. Jump. And it's like, what? Aren't you supposed to hit me? It's like, jump or I'll make you do it. And he makes Ooh. her like jump off the edge and kill herself. Wow. In front. And he's like, oops. Like, and like, so he like does evil shit like that. Like, that's an wow. example, right? Okay. He turns very corrupt. Very interesting. It starts off as him being very like political and trying to be PC and trying to stick to like, trying to get his news ratings up. And then he started realizing he's like, Fuck. I can control yeah, that even, my own. Even another I don't one need that, a company to do that. I don't think that's like a spoiler is he like, he like, uh, kills like a like this per like a terrorist but in like in the crossfire like he lasered through and like killed a kid mm. and was like oh like what like i'm trying to save the like i'm trying to save our nation and like i killed one kid like oh shit happens type thing yeah people well, like, what the fuck that's, that's what i was assuming is like he's like he's trying to do good things but just doesn't really give a shit he just doesn't him, care but... about collateral damage yeah, that's, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? which i think is interesting i i think that's messy yeah. but then he also shows like his like 
where he'll like zone out and I'll just show him like being a shell, like just civilians are like chopping up and I'll like come back to him and be like, oh, okay. yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, and yeah. he just like takes it, right? It's very, his, his like, his character progression I think is great, like throughout mm. the show. Oh, yeah. I think they, actually, yeah. most characters, they do such a good job of like their stories. Except like, for Frenchie. No, Frenchie's is good too. Story, it's, it's a good show. You should definitely check I, it out. I do want to watch it. I do um, watch it. But I prefer Invincible. Where Invincible, Ooh, that, that is there, a great show. There is also I don't know if you saw that. There's an animated series yeah, of the of boys, boys where I've it's, heard, it's like oh. Looney Tunes, but it's all about like it's gory like oh, superheroes shit. as like a okay. baby. Ba- like, basically, an Invincible as well, but not as good, unfortunately. Invincible was pretty. Fun. Invincible was good. really hard to top. In fact, that's that's a show. I How many seasons are there? One. One. Are they coming out with more or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they will. There's a whole comic book series about it. And it's really I good. didn't know The Boys was a, uh, an, comic art, book? an illustrated series. Yeah. yeah. Well, even like The Walking Dead, same thing. But yeah. I think... Yeah. I, think I, I don't know how, it. how... If it was the comic that came first or the, or the comic show. Came I don't know. Yeah, comic came first. Comic came first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, shit. I was just going to say something now. It totally left me. Oh, Rings of Power. You guys watch Rings of Power? No, I accidentally watched I the wrong show and, yeah. I, and I got into it. So yeah, I you're talking like, Wheel of Time or something? Wheel of Time, yeah. Because I thought that was the show and I was watching like, okay, it's not, <laughs> guy, it's not wait, wait, what is this guy watching Wheel of Time? This guy's watching Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> <laughs> Rings of Power, Wheel of Fortune. Give me the ring. I was like, oh, there it is. That's the number. Yeah, so I was watching. What? what I, said, number? I don't know why I said number. The word. Um, I was watching real time, and after like the first episode, I'm like, "What?" And I looked at the show name, and I'm like, "I'm kind of invested now." Yeah. I thought you were gonna say you watched like Cock Rings of Power, mm. and mm. try to get some reviews. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boy, I forgot <laughs> about that. Back, right? That was actually the show back. I was trying to find, and then yeah. I found Rings of Power. I'm like, oh. lame. Um, that show is so good that I started to go like balls deep in like Hulk and like uh, Lord. Uh, is it stuff. like? It's it's prequel to it's prequel to Lord of the Rings prequel to Hobbit. It's like and then there's House of. Dragons I don't think too. I've even seen how many Hobbits are there. Is there one? Three. Yeah, I I I don't even think I've seen. Yo, them. they're so good. That every everything. Even Lord of the Rings. I think it's too old for me to like go back. No, no, and it, no, it's good. It's still good. I don't actually. Am I might agree. I don't know. No, it's still. I good. haven't watched like, them since. I have literally <laughs> yeah. all of them. They're yeah, all. Like, dude, a fantastic. Series. That is like that is like. Such a big time. <laughs> oh, 100%. But I especially if you watch the director's cut of Return of the King. <laughs> but it's more it no, the director's right? cut of all three of them are fucking no, insane. No, 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 no. So, it's like a, so Nikki and I lately have been talking about like, because we finished The Boys and I was like, I'm like, we should really watch all of the, like, the, the, not the new Marvel, all the like old Marvel up until like Endgame. I was like, because oh, we should go, lot. and I'm like, that's a lot, but I'm like, You're yo. start realizing how bad the acting is from the old ones. Like, Some it, of them it, are good though. Uh, okay. Uh, like the first yo, Iron what, what would you say is the sure. best yeah. Marvel movie before the first Iron Man? Before the first Iron Man? <laughs> like the pickings are so slim. <laughs> like I, I don't think even remember. I think which one's Iron Man. I think Iron Man was like where it, it's it started it's, to spin into oh, that's like what, that was the first Disney one, wasn't it? Maybe uh-huh. like the MCU, right? It, like, is yeah, the, yeah, it is the first one that started like on like the whole MCU concept. Yeah, yeah. Like, bring the I'd say Spider Man. Yeah, Spider Man. It's gotta be one of the Spider Man. Definitely not three. Over um, Daf- no. over Daredevil. <laughs> the Ben Affleck Daredevil. The Ben Affleck Daredevil was. I was gonna say so Fantastic bad. Four, but all with of bull- with Bullseye. Yeah. Bullseye. Yeah, and is Bullseye Colin played Fair. by the guy? Oh, Colin Colin Fair. <laughs> yeah. It's so bad. I don't remember that. It's so. There's bad. also a what was that? Is it called Electra? Yeah. 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 yeah that, that was, was the one another. after. She was yeah because she was in yeah she was in Daredevil and okay, gotcha. gave her her own. Um, yeah, I'd say it ha- it have to be one of the Spider Man. I think it's because Spider Man was like my favorite Marvel I love that. superhero growing up. In fact, he might still be just because I like how many variations in the whole universe is. I they think have. he is now. As for as far as Marvel goes, when I was a kid, I really liked Wolverine. I uh, just want. I, I did like Black Panther. Oh, you know what? All the X Men series, you could you could throw some of those in there. I guess. Mickey and I watched moment. the first one. Yo, Rogue's acting is so dog shit. Like, oh, absolutely. Like. Absolutely, <laughs> majority. Even the, even the current X Men, the acting is pretty horrendous. Like, yeah. Even Dark, even Dark Phoenix. I was like, I was watching it like a month after it came out. I'm like, this is still is cringe. Dark. Uh, the girl who plays Phoenix is. Uh, Sansa Stark. Yeah. Yes. That's, yeah, okay. yeah. 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 Yo, but Sophie Sophie Turner. Sophia Turner. I don't know. I don't know her name. Anyway, we gotta look. Uh, the girl who's married to Nick Jonas, or not Nick Jonas, Joe Jonas. Sophie Turner. Sophie Turner. Oh. So like, if you go back and watch the first X Men. 
Like, I remember watching them all. Yeah. I was like, yo, Wolverine's such a badass. But if you see Wolverine in the first one, like, yeah, he's not watched... even really jacked. He's like, he's not even angry. Like, he's not even angry. Something... His hair looks like shit. We were, t- we were after, because we, after we watched the boys, we, we watched the first X-Men. And yeah, I was yeah. like, yo, Billy Butcher's character would be, like, the actor could oh, yeah. definitely play. We, talk, we talked about play, yeah, yeah, play yeah, so Wolverine. We, There's yeah, a concept yeah, yeah. So then we, we talked about it, but then we watched it, and I was like, bro, Wolverine looks like a pussy compared to Billy Butcher in the first one. In the first one, yeah, he he's looks like such, such a, pussy. a bitch. Like, yeah, he's like not even Jack. But you know yeah, what, though? Like, I, I really yeah. need to see Wolverine in action in his, like, his iconic like, yellow and black suit. Like, yeah, like you'll see tearing the Deadpool shit 3, apart. The Deadpool 3, yeah. I know. The thing is, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be too costumey. That I'm not gonna like, cause like I didn't mind how he looked in like the, but the black one? movies. Oh, like in the Wolverine movies when he was like just like leather jacket. Oh yeah, yeah. Doing his thing, I was like, I'm cool like with that. Like civilian Wolverine. Yeah, civilian Wolverine. Like I'm, I'm cool with it. But like when he like puts on the costume, cause to me it's just such a weird Wolverine's character. Why the fuck would he put on a costume? But you know what? Because he's yeah. like a non, uh, don't give a shit, badass. Yeah, yeah so it kind of defeats the purpose that he would hide his identity when he yeah, doesn't give a shit. Yeah, he doesn't shit. give a shit. But you know what though? It's cause like. The Wolverine in costume, like the comic ones, he can like lunge like He's twenty okay. feet yeah. and stuff like that. Where like in the original Wolverine, like he'll take a shotgun shell and be like, "Oh!" <laughs> <laughs> this guy's been practicing. Actually, that. legit, Logan was probably the best Marvel movie before the MCU. But it was after. Logan, was, it was, Logan it was came after. out after. It was way it, after. It was after. It just wasn't part. Grow up, you right, you right, you right, you right. Idiot. My bad, my bad, Fuck my bad, guy. my bad. Fuck yeah, Logan bad. was really good. Logan was fantastic. So, like, that's where I was trying to go with Nikki. I was like, do we watch the first three X-Men? Or is it like, do we just, like, do we even have to watch the X-Men Origins in the first three? I was like, or do I just start at first oh, class? <laughs> but even Wolverine, even Wolverine Origins was, like, a pretty yeah. shitty Yeah, oh, they were Because that ending. Fucking Will I Am? <laughs> no. No, Yo, I forgot he was in that. Oh, yeah. He's oh, the guy like, who could, like, teleport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, he yeah. got killed by Sabretooth. Because Sabretooth he just, teleported like, into his spine, and he grabbed his spine. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and then Gambit was in it. That's right. And then, played by, yo, uh, Deadpool with laser beams. Yeah. And the Katanas. Yeah, the, that Deadpool. Oh. But it was still Ryan Reynolds. It's still Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. Yeah, but, but it was just so funny because he bombed Deadpool. that Deadpool and then he came back and like remade his role. Yeah, but it's because Fox did that one. It wasn't Correct. Disney. Yeah. yeah. Well, Disney didn't. Oh, no. Uh, who did the other one? Just. Uh, wasn't it Marvel? It might have started Marvel's... Fox. I think Fox. Well, Marvel would have to have their hands in all of them, but it might have been Fox. Hmm. But, I don't yeah. remember. I, uh,. So I was trying to figure out, like, do we watch? How much of it do we watch before Logan? There's just Logan's so, much so good, and I don't even think like the rest of the story is not that. Imp- like, I could I, I could verbally just really explain important. like yeah, here's what happens. Five minute conversation. Them. You know what though? There is a YouTube channel. I'm pretty sure it's called like Minute Movie Recap or whatever. But they recap all movies within like I think, I think ten minutes. So they'll basically explain the whole that's story cool. and cut everything that's unnecessary. That's still pretty long to me. Ten minutes. But ten minutes. Oh, to watch well, the ten whole movie. minutes of the movie. No, ten, it's not a guy telling you for ten minutes. No, it, it is. No, it is. It, so it's a, a guy in explaining 10 minutes, what happens. He, he basically cuts oh. everything that's useless. He keeps in like all the fight scenes, all the stuff that's important, and basically explains the movie as I'm it gonna, goes. I'm and be like, check out the stories movie. about a movie like this, and this is how it runs, and he tells you about it, and you learn the whole plot of a movie in ten minutes. Okay, uh, before we, it could be even five minutes actually. We, I think we talked about it. who's seen Tenant. Yes. I didn't finish it. Yeah. I heard it's like one of the most complicated movies to ever understand. I stopped it because I was yeah. like, fuck this movie. I, 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 when I watched it, I, <laughs> there were certain points where I was like confused and I got back to it and I got more confused. and then I got Like I've heard that it was like, it seems like Christopher Nolan himself was confused. about like how I'm some not of this convinced <laughs> anyone knows what's going on in that movie. I'm it's, not. It was, an intro, uh, it was just one of those movies you, you watch it and you're like, okay. It seemed uh, good. I, I, I literally could, I couldn't finish it because I was like, I don't know. I thought I was a smart guy before that movie, and then I was like, "Yeah, because I, I was talking about it at work today." I was like, "I got to bring it up on the podcast." Because the guy was saying, "He's like, if you thought that like you had to be like intelligent to follow along Inception, they're like, yes. Tenant is like you'll feel like you're stupid." Exactly. <laughs> oh, and that, that's perfect. Well, do you that's think watching movie. it multiple times would help? No, I couldn't watch it one time, bro. <laughs> I couldn't. I'm getting a headache. Yeah, I heard like basically. I was like, okay, summarize what the plot is for me and they're like basically no, no, you can't yes you can't they summarize it where it's like basically they're trying to invert time to a point where someone's basically trying to use it to the capacity where they're trying to invert like endothermics to like blow up the earth okay that's fair no that's a good that's a good that's a good summary in a nutshell i was like what does that, i'm like um, what the hell is yo. time inversion <laughs> okay that's not a fair question because that's the movie and that is so it like that's where I was like, huh? It's like you go in a timeline, but then you're like moving backwards and everyone else is moving forwards or some shit like that. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. basically. I basically. Like, what? But like, the, and, then, and, then, oh, and then those two timelines intersect at a certain point, so you intersect with your own timeline. It's like weird as shit. It's, it's so, like, it's I couldn't even, like, I couldn't enjoy it because I was spending so much mental energy on trying to understand <laughs> what the fuck was happening that I was like, I don't, I don't know, man. That's how I felt with Elite of Battle Angel. Fuck off. The story was just so excellent. So bad. CGI Dude, was Are they ever going to make a second one? I hope to God not. I, I rewatched the fight scene between um, Alita and... Um, the, the big guy? Oh, but he has a, a stupid name. Gru- Gruishka. Gruishka. Is that his name? That's in name. the bar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the big... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where they, he, she fights him like three times, I think. Yeah, yeah, I rewatched yeah, yeah. all of those. Those are sick. Yeah, yeah. The fight scenes are cool. The movie sucked. So, so, so I'm debating if I should give it a try or not. Give it a try. Yeah. Give it a try, and I'm. T- uh, Which one, Alita or this one? The no, God. Give them both. Tenet, Tenet, Tenet. No. Tenet. Yeah, watch Tenet. Watch Tenet. If your head hurts, watch Alita. It's. Did you guys like Looper? I never watched Looper. Oh, it's actually yeah. It's it looks Looper's good. pretty good. It's pretty it looks good. good. Yeah, it's okay. But is it enough where like? I it was kind of predictable though of everything that was happening. Like yeah. That would happen. No, I wish I was a like. I wish I could have interviewed some of the actors from Tenet right when it came out because now they've probably like rehearsed answers. But if you like, if you ask them like right when it came out, like, what's this movie about? How does it work? They probably didn't know. Shit. I don't think. I, again, so, I, I don't even think. Lines, I don't even think it. Christopher Nolan knows how it no, works. Man. Yeah, being an actor for that movie and be like, okay, so like uh-huh. being the casting. Yeah. Okay, like now pretending you're in backwards time. Like, huh? Say <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it didn't, I didn't, I didn't understand it. What's the newest movie you guys have watched? Have you guys seen Black Panther 2? No, no, I haven't seen it yet. It does look good though, I really, I really, I think really the like newest movie I've watched is literally Dune. We've been watching, yo, Dune was sick. Yeah, Dune was very good. So, I don't think really movies, but we've been watching, um, The Patient? Yo! Steve Carell as a psychiatrist. Good show, I like that show. Um, it was very good. Pretty well done. Yeah, yeah like it, it was very good. I, I mean, I'm also just a Steve Carell dick writer. Like, I'll watch anything with but him. That's a, so that's but the problem was like, very that good. Christina was saying is that she can't take Steve Carell serious in those roles because she just thinks of as, him as the office as guy. As, yeah. Or, or, or to me, opposite because they're, they're making him hopefully play like a... Uh, What's it? My shit's blue. Hopefully it's not coming out. Oh, it probably is. Well, RIP to the sound on this one. Well, I did like... I like that he's like a very Jewish immersed person. So I was like... It kind of takes my eyes off of the office aspect because he's like he's very, very religious. Character. Yeah, yeah. Very, very different character. Yeah. I like it. good. Uh, uh, well, so far, I think, are we caught up, babe, or we still have episodes to go? It's done. What do you mean caught up? Uh, I don't know how far we are. We're caught up to where we're caught up to. We're like yeah, probably like say, six How do you episodes. stay caught up when it's done? The, the thing I like, though, is the show's 20 minutes each episode. Yes. Because well, we're, we're watching changed. She-Hulk, changed and that was movie. hard to oh. burn through because eventually... Are those hour-long episodes? Like 40 minutes? Of dog shit? First of all, she oh, was it was dog shit. It yeah, was, it was, no, you know, I think throughout it, like, we kind of, the first two episodes were like, you know what, it has potential. Eventually, just never really picked back up. I, I, I don't think I'm getting into the new, like, I think for me, the MCU died oh, with, no, with, like, the original the set. OGs. I'm not going to watch it. I've got to tell you, though, Hawkeye, that series, I'm going to continue watching. I really like that series. That's, I actually like his actor, too. Okay, like would him. it, would it, would you still watch it if it was anyone other than Haley Steinfeld? No. I agree. Um, <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, I, of course. I wish anybody, yeah, any, anyone, anybody. name, name someone. She's in it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who's Haley? I'm trying that? to think of like what characters I'd want to watch the spinoff. Uh, Loki was also a great. Loki series. was good. I'll watch the next Loki. You, you know what though? Oh, Mobius. That's why. Oh, Owen Wilson's character. Is Owen Mobius. Wilson's character is Mobius. That's, right. yeah, 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 that's yeah. why I was like getting confused. Is he? A, is he super? That's no. Mobius. Is the is a vamp? The is he a superhero? Bullshit Dracula. No. He's I mean, yes, guy. he is. Guy. Yes, he is. He's he's, like, a, he's a jet ski hero. That's fair. That's that's a fair. That's fair. Um, um, sorry. Yeah. While you think of that though, Em and I were talking about like, like like you said, watching all of Marvel, even up to Endgame, is nuts. But and uh, I'll go on a tangent after, I guess. But let's say the, the next big one is what Kang Dynasty, right? So like all this yeah. Kang shit coming up, and then who's Kang? Who's Kang? Which which guy's Kang? He's, I he like. I want to see. The only thing he's been in so far is Loki, but he's going to be... No, he was in... Uh... No, but his na- is what, he's what, is, what does he look like? He's got, like, um, a blue face, purple helmet, and, like, a green, like... Uh... I'm trying to think, like, was he in any of, like, Munchkin and stuff? Like, I don't remember that name. Probably. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was a villain. I'm pretty sure Kang was in there. But he was in another uh, no, was... series. No. Or, or end of... Was he at the end of Thor? 
He was at the post. He was at the end credit scene of of either a Marvel series or a sh- or a movie, a different one other than Loki oh. as well. Really? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think of. That doesn't ring a bell. Let me let me search it up. Yeah, look at it. Either what way, are you talking about? Kang, Kang's a cool character and stuff, and you know things get intense, and you know apparently going to introduce Doctor Doom, and then, and then you're going to introduce Fantastic, Fantastic Four. Four and X Men, all the shit that like anyone who's getting growing up into this stuff. You have to watch so much fucked. just to be. It. Like it, like it's good for us because we can watch it one at a time, and like I don't have to go back and rewatch it. Like I can still follow the trends, but anyone who's like now trying to jump in, good luck. Oh, sorry, I, I made a mistake. He's going to be. In the next Ant Man and yeah. Wasp movie, that's Quant- what I'm Quantum Mania. Yeah, sorry, in, sorry about that. Yeah, I gotcha. haven't seen like, f- yeah, I'm so. Oh, weird. you know what? I would say Ant Man is probably my favorite MCU series. I really like the humor in Ant Man. Uh, yeah, second Paul one was, was so like, bad. Uh, oh, because like the whole, I, I could see. I actually still liked it. I, I thought I liked it. I didn't really like the second one, but um, like even like our coworker Tito was telling me he's like. He's like, man, I was just trying to watch the Avengers movies. Like he was just trying to watch Avengers one, two, Infinity War, Endgame. It's too much. But he was, he's like. Shit's ha- he's like I'd never watch all the MCU. He's like shit's ha- he's like I have to watch everything in between there. And I was like yeah. He's like because I watch Avengers two and then I'm watching Infinity War and Thor has short hair. Thor's missing an eye. Like what the hell is going on? I was like oh yeah man. Like because shit happened I didn't in between. Even think there. about that, but yeah. yeah he's I, like what the fuck? he's like I can't just watch the Avengers movies. I have to watch everything. Yeah, but you can like, skip yeah. certain ones like Thor two. No point in watching. Garbage. But you the, don't thing is, the thing and is yeah. though is that the ah uh, no because they introduced the the ether in that one. The no, thing reality but, stone. Yeah, sure, but but even without it, even it while watching, I completely forgot I was part of that. So it's like, true. It doesn't really. Yes, yeah, so, that's fair. So it's like, the thing though is like after Endgame is like a different like saga of the MCU. So it's like kind you of don't necessarily sometimes... have to watch before. Kind of like because like the new uh, like Falcon as Captain America, like seeing all that lead up. But oh, what? But no, no. But if you watch it now, you would if you started there, you would just know. Falcon. Oh, you just wouldn't know his history, I guess? Yeah. You know what, though? It, it is true. Fair. It's kind of like... Like, it's like a completely new saga of characters, where it's like, you, you don't necessarily have, have to know... You of a background, but you don't, you don't need, need to know. know. Yeah, That's yeah, pretty okay. cool that, that yeah. now I think about each uh, of the Avengers movie kind of, like, wraps up everyone's story, yeah. and it kind of throws it back out that, there, and kind of loops back They did that on purpose. Around, so, I think yeah. they did that for that, so this they, exact yeah, reason, so that you could, like, start from here or a specific point not necessarily have to know what's happened before you can look up guides of being like which movie should i watch chronologically to make sense in the yeah. lore standpoint oh, yeah. and they'll tell you which ones to watch those movies have significantly gone downhill though they've really started to slip yeah well i mean again i get i haven't really watched them since endgame and i heard people say like endgame was like one of the worst marvel movies i'm like what and it was phenomenal okay if you're looking at it from like a like a like i think from a, cin- a cinematography yeah. perspective yeah. like yeah there's no story there's no character arc or something but there's something no there's like no that. reason for it to Who be a cares? story yeah i'm watching i'm, 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 <laughs> you know, I'm watching yo I actually, remember, it actually has great lore because if you think about thanos the reason why he lost that battle is because his objective used to be to save the universe it changed from saving the universe to getting vengeance for his old past getting killed by thor so that's why his mission changed which is why it shows that thanos the he, god of whatever failed because you, it just shows that his mission statement changed his priorities changed and that's why he yeah. failed as a hero so i actually like because it's more thanos development I, rather I, than the other two people i remember in the theater i felt like someone literally came when captain america th- throws Grab. the shield like majolnir or the the, the hammer, hammer? Yeah. yeah like i feel like someone came in the crowd definitely. oh, oh like, yeah oh <laughs> yeah like definitely happened when i watched it absolutely the absolutely it was such a good like people actually people were cheering and shit it was it Fuck, was fucking yeah. hilarious yeah that's the one thing about marvel if you want to watch in cinemas, especially like those people kind of movies, go and people get off. hyped, right? Yeah. yeah, I love it. It's openly acceptable to just be loud. And you can tell that the movies kind of like having create a pause. Be- <laughs> yeah, they know. They anticipate it. Yeah, because oh, like, when seeing the Captain America, like caught the hammer is like, and he's like slowly, because that gives everyone time to be like, oh my God, oh my God, the anticipation. <laughs> holy shit, oh, holy shit. Oh. Yeah. 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 Um, but see, like, I feel like I'd have to watch, like, if I were to watch it with Nikki, I'd have to, like, I never actually saw the first two Captain Americas. They're so I've good. I've heard they're like some of the best MCU movies. They're so but good. I didn't That's see like Winter series. Soldier or oh the first God. one. So I was like... I actually like the first Captain America a lot because... Not not just the Thor thing, but... Uh, uh, sorry, lore. Though not just the lore thing, but... When you get to see him first get his powers, you almost like... Like, damn, it's just... Sick. It's cool just to see him like trying to like... Him learning that he can run faster than a car now. Like, it's yeah. insane. No, I, 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 to me, the Captain America trilogy is probably the best trilogy, in my opinion. Because it, it, Civil War is part of that. Civil and then fun. it went and to Civil Avengers. Civil War is fucking sick, yes. too. Civil War him amazing. fighting Iron Man. See, the thing, yeah. though, that I feel like we lose out and we'll never have again is, like, in the trailers for, like, Civil War, when you see Spider-Man, you're like, holy shit, he's in the MCU. Yeah. Like, 
But what now, are we gonna see like that now that we're like, oh yeah, that's that. so sick. Yeah, yeah, because we've done it so many times. Like, now. what's the next crossover that we're all gonna lose our minds over? Like, realistically. I mean, I think still seeing. I uh, think seeing Hugh X- Jackman as Wolverine will still in the get MCU that or in Deadpool. Yeah. Well, that is in the MCU though. Yeah. Okay. So, um, but what about X Men in general? X Men went so downhill though. As the thing problem. is, is it's all gonna be recast anyways. My, I, I think. I think so if they did, I don't know that it's gonna have that same hype. If they did a X Men oh, with Fantastic Four, um, I think Fantastic Four is coming soon. No? Because because they do cross over quite a lot. They just need to fix because Fantastic Four has just bombed every single time now. It really has. Yo, if they do an Axe movie, that would be pretty incredible. What's Axe? Who's Axe? Uh, Avengers, X Men, Eternals. Oh. Like all three of them are like against each other. Eternals oh. is like Black Bolt? No, no, Eternals. Oh. Yo, that's a dog shit movie. Too. <laughs> like, like Icar- Icarus and stuff. No, like no, that. I didn't. I don't watch it. Oh, it's it's a bad movie. It's not even really in- integral to the. Not whole yet. Timeline. Maybe it will yeah, eventually. Exactly. Might, I just, yeah, I just, because like, all, wait, what's Black Bolt? Oh, Inhumans. Inhumans. Yeah. Right. But with with Eternals, the problem was like all these super ha- powers that you get, you're like, you're kind of redundant. I've seen them. Like, oh, this guy is basically a, a Superman. This guy is basically a. Black Widow, like yeah. Angelina Jolie is, is an overpowered Black Widow, right? Like that can. So who who are the Eternals? Who are some like what I know? They're like they're, they're like no. think about like the Unless Celestials the created them, and they are the ones who are supposed to like have order. What are the of what are some power. of their names? Icarus, Icarus uh, Athena, um, Gilgamesh. Two. I think I know someone named Gilgamesh. It's like it's a, a driver. Sick name. It's a sick name. Yeah. Um, if he's a jujitsu fighter. Is it? Oh jiu- yeah. Are we time? Are we time? Oh, I thought I heard Cinco, someone's phone going Cinco off. Cinco de Mayo. Oh. Um, Sorry. I'm going to switch topics a little bit. Because mm. I had one question I asked Maddie. So, now that we're listening to Christmas music, again, because it's what's going to happen all of uh, November and December, because I start way too early. I haven't played Christmas music yet. Are there songs that are timeless? Like, truly timeless, where you feel like they will never leave the radio? Or do you feel like in 200 years from now, let's say, that we're going to stop listening. Like, that th- no. that generation is going to stop listening to certain songs. No, because we listen to songs. Some songs yeah, we li- yo, some of our some of songs Christmas are old. Are old that we listen to. But, but how old would, are they really? Not 100 years old. Yeah, maybe Like, Frank Sinatra Christmas songs are probably have, the oldest like, ones. Because they have, music back then. Yeah, like, that's true. That you could record. But we started, but we even started moving on from certain songs. Like, even Frank Sinatra songs, I don't hear them as much on the radio anymore. Like, they're starting to kind of phase out. Do you feel like there's certain ones that are timeless? And what are your yeah, songs Carey. that you're like? They Mariah Carey's will not. never. I think Mariah Carey's will be forever. And I Bublé. can't even. I can't even shit. Out. Like I like it. When that song plays, I'm like, yeah, this song's fucking hype. Yeah, but it's because I'm, I'm up not and... in stores and stuff to like get get sick of it. To get sick of it, I'm not listening to radio. So like every Christmas, like it's on my play. It's on my Christmas playlist because it's a fucking banger. Yeah, like, cool. I don't actually have a Christmas playlist. Yo, I, 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 I act like I don't mind it, but I will myself never put on. Christmas music. Really? really? No, oh, there's a vibe. If someone puts it on, I'm I'm good. Sure. But like, I'm never gonna sit in my car and be like, I want to listen to Christmas. Oh, not necessarily in my car, but like, if yeah. I'm... I don't, I wouldn't listen to it in my car. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's there's probably two songs. Depends, and it's it's the two songs that I always say are Thomas is Paul McCartney. So this is Christmas. And that's then, a good one. Oh no, sorry, oh, okay. sorry, sorry, sorry. It's John Lennon. War's over, and that's the one. So this is Christmas. Is that what it's called? Yeah. <laughs> Either way, that's good. It's a good one. <laughs> and then Paul McCartney. Uh, we'll be having a wonderful Christmas time. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those two songs to me are time. And ironically, both Beatles members. There's nothing. It's not the reason why I like. Yo, it. "Love on Layaway" by Gloria Estefan. What the? Oh! fuck Did you just say to me? Oh! Are you insulting me? I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> you and your mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, "Love on Layaway" by Gloria Estefan. Fantastic Christmas song. Probably my favorite. Are there any song. songs out? Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to switching questions, but we'll continue. Do Do you think that those songs could be timeless? Yeah, like songs I think that so. will keep playing. Uh, I think the Mariah Carey one could be timeless, but oh, sorry, just to jump back, like the, the, I wouldn't always sit in my car listening to Christmas music, but like if I'm going to a Christmas event, yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll no, play Christmas. Even, no. But definitely, I'm playing it when we're doing anything. Like if I'm wrapping gifts, I'm gonna yes. listen to Christmas music. It's a vibe. If I'm making cookies, I may listen to Christmas music. Oh, when we're great. decorating, I'm listening. Very Christmas interesting. Music. It's something no, like yeah. during Halloween time, like like we if you're listen. out like like trick or treating and stuff. Like I want to hear Halloween spooky. Spooky music. Oh, spooky Like, if you go to, like, Wonderland, like, Halloween Haunt, I want to hear Halloween. Like, it has to be part of the vibe. vibe. You can't be playing Blind by the Light by Manfred and the Lights. Like, I'll be like... You could. I'd be okay with it. Yo, so that's one song I used to think was a Christmas song. Because the only time I ever heard it was during Christmas. From my dad. So I related it to Christmas. Really? Oh, yeah, sorry. Another another timeless one. Bonnie M. uh, Mary's Born Child. What about... What's your your favorite Christmas decoration? Did you have one? Like, the... I'm only asking, so I, I just Christmas bought tree? I just bought 
uh, a family of snowmen. Inflatable snowman. Oh, okay. Probably eight feet tall is the tallest one. Holy shit. Huge, bro. It wow. goes up to the first roof. Where of are my... you putting that? In my front yard. It's literally you in front of my house. for that? For eight snowmen? No, it's an eight foot snowman. Oh, I thought you said you got eight snowmen. And yeah, the I, 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 thought, I thought it was a bunch of them. You said, you said a family snowman. It's three. They're oh, together. Oh, okay. oh, sorry. That's my... Here, look. My, uh, my, my, you're confused. I'll show a picture. Maybe I'll, I'll post it on it. That's how big they are. Oh, shit. Wow. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. That's my favorite one so far. Because Kel took all the dirt, because she bought them initially, so yeah, she yeah. them all home. Uh, um, I like the inflatable uh Because I'm not design. big on lights. I'm not big on putting up lights. Like, that's... Really? Because you're lazy. Yeah, I like yeah. it. Fuck but you know what you have to do? What my neighbors do is they have lights that are up 24-7, and they no. can control, oh. the, they can tr- control the color to make no. it Halloween. No, I, I, I dig it. All year I dig it. I, I got, think, yo, curse them. I yeah. got my Christmas tree lights to be like that, where it's a, it's a roll of lights. That you can change the color. So I'm like, that's oh, sick. I don't need white ones or blue ones or red ones. I'm like, I have one set that I can change the color next year. Yeah, that's wicked. Yeah. But and my like, why? And, I'm, and then my mom's like, that's, of course you would get that. I was like, why the hell would I get multiple sets of one? It's almost like, if I could just get one. Yeah, you oh, should yeah. go back to her and be like, of course you'd get the, all the ones because you want you have storage. I don't have storage nowadays. Yeah. I don't have room to store all these lights. There's a, there's a house on my mom's street. Has no joke, like a two and a half story Santa. <laughs> like... Towering Santa Claus. Titan. Santa's Santa. not coming to town. He is the town. Yeah, yeah, like literally, Jesus. it's when we. She said it was up last year when we went by. It wasn't up yet, so I was like, I need to when it when it's up, I'll get a picture. But she's like, literally towers over their house. On Holy tenth on tenth shit. line near near our houses, there's a guy who goes balls to the walls. But we talked to him, and he's like, Yeah, I'm an electrician. This is the reason why I do this. I'm like, Yeah. Uh, how the okay. fuck do you power this shit? Yeah. He's so many things, and but he said the one issue he has is that people walk on his lawn and take pictures, and he's like, I don't want to ruin it for them, but I don't want them on my lawn. I'm like. Tell them to get off your fucking lawn. Like, yeah, fuck like if I was on your lawn, you told me to get off. I'd be like, my bad. I know. I just I, no, wouldn't no, go. On I wouldn't go on the lawn. Yeah. I wouldn't. What kind of logic is that? That. First place. But same. But yeah, I'm like, you shouldn't have to be worried about calling people out for getting off your lawn. Like, you did this for them, and if they're taking advantage of it, yeah, fuck yeah. that. That's their problem. Screw off. There was one year we left our Christmas tree up all year, right up until the next Christmas. Yo, know, honestly, uh, if I, I had the space to do it, I probably would. Okay, why not? And we made, you we, it yo, yeah, did you decorate yeah, it for like yeah. Easter? Yeah, and well, we didn't like put on, a, well, we took off the Christmas decorations, but left the tree on and with the lights and like left some like very uh, generic uh, stuff, okay. ornaments and stuff on there. So it's just like, ah, if, it's just like a decorated tree. If you did like Easter ornaments, like that'd be kind of cool, actually. Uh, where do you get, where, where do Dude, you get you have the lights. Make them. I guess he has the universal weird. lights now. Get the same thing as him Boom. during Halloween time. Switch the orange and black. Yeah, black lights. It was funny because wow. I, I think was I in high school at the time. I think so. And we were like having house parties all the time. So like we had a house party and like everyone's over. And like it's like July. And like is is that a Christmas tree? And we're like oh yeah. Like we haven't taken it down yet. Like and it's gonna stay up till next year. Like <laughs> fuck it. Yo, but I, I do. Space, I would. Yeah. I do like the concept though of like. I have the regular green Christmas tree. I do want to try something like a white tree. I, no. got, a fro- I got a frosted one. One that looks like it's snowed on it. Okay, oh, that's, that's cool. That's, that's fine. But like the ones that are just like like white, white tinsel and shit. Like I'm not, I don't like. No, no, like, like the strip is just like that. Yeah. it's entirely white. But I've seen them like be decked oh, out like like with like black bulbs and like or like dark that, purple that themes. Look, yeah. They look, look pretty really sick. Good at, that would yeah. look really good in my place. Yeah. Oh yeah, but white accents, right? Yeah. But but then I saw in the states where they did red, white. And blue, oh, gross. And, and, like they spray painted it. And Why would you do red, one, popsicle? white, and red? Like the fucking yeah. rockets popsicle. I was like, I was like, what did you say? Red, white, and red. Yeah, for Canada. Canada. Yeah. Red, white, and red. Yeah. All right. What are we thankful for? Ooh, um, that's a good question. I'm thankful that that Gatorade and gin didn't turn out so bad. Would you drink it again? Um, it, <laughs> <laughs> that's not very grateful. That's not yeah, very that's grateful. Not... <laughs> no. Nate, sure. Yeah, I would. I don't know. I'm not sold, bro. You didn't tell me. Um, I'm thankful that uh, I'm going to do most of my Christmas shopping online. So I don't go into stores. Fuck yeah. Amazon? Uh, no. I'm I'll send to, Bezos the space to, I'm twice. I'm trying to mix, up, mix it up a little bit, but gifts are just... I buy it from wherever they post the link, so... Um, what about you, Lucas? I'm grateful for the fact that uh, we don't live in the States. Ooh, that's a big one. But I'm ungrateful for the fact, I'm going to throw in two right here, oh. that whenever you go on the internet, you just get thrown American politics down your throat. I know more about American politics than our own. Well, that yeah, makes sense. that's fair. Much smaller target yeah. base for us. I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> but we're local. So it's our country. We're local. I know more about almost, uh, actually, I was going to say more about American geography, but that's not true. I barely, no, I I barely know anything. Dick about American geography. Um, How many states could you name? All 57. 12. 12? 
We should do it one day. We should do a challenge and do, make I a I think I could game. probably get 30. Wow. I don't, I, well, I, well, wow. From, just because from work, I'll see the the, too, the yeah. acronyms. Like, sports, I, I think I could, sports too, right? I could so. put some together. If you gave me the acronyms, I can maybe guess them. Well, What's AR? Oh. Uh, Arizona. It might be Arkansas. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's not AK? Uh, maybe it's... <laughs> Is I don't Arizona know. AZ? I, I don't know. Yeah, Arizona is AZ. Is it AZ? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Yo. AK just a, for the 47. No, AR might be... Assault Rifle. Maybe, how do we even know if there's an yeah, AR? Maybe we'll, we'll, maybe the game will be, we look at the acronyms we, and we tell the states. There you go. We should have, yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah, All right, fun. bye. See ya. See ya.